Chidambaram Sebramaniam commonly known as CS the 30th of January 1910 to the 7th of November 2000 was an Indian politician and independence activist He served as Minister of Finance and Minister of Defence in the Union Cabinet He later served as the Governor of Maharashtra As the Minister for Food and Agriculture he ushered the Indian Green Revolution an era of self-sufficiency in food production along with MS Swaminathan B Sivaraman and Norman E Borlaug he was awarded Bharat Ratna, Indian's highest civilian award, in 1998, for his role in ushering Green Revolution. <laughs> Early life and education Sebramaniam was born in a Kongu Velilar Gounder family on 10 January 1910 near Palachi in Coimbatore district, Tamil Nadu. Sebramaniam completed his early education in Palachi before moving to Chennai where he did his BSc in Physics at the Presidency College, Chennai. Later he graduated with degree in law from Madras Law College, Chennai. During his college days, he started Vanamalar Sangam and published a magazine called Pithan from Gobashedapalayam along with Pariyasami Thoran, K. S. Ramaswamy Gounder, O. V. Alajazan and Justice Palanisamy. His inspiration was his uncle Swami Chidbhavananda. Political career <inaudible> Early years Sebramaniam was an active member of the civil disobedience movement against the British during his college days. He was imprisoned during the Quit India movement in 1942. He was later elected to the Constituent Assembly and had a hand in the framing of the Constitution of India. He was a Minister of Education, Law and Finance for Madras State from 1952 to 1962 under Chief Ministers Rajaji and K. Kamaraj. He was the leader of the House in the Madras Legislative Assembly for the entire duration. He was elected to the Lok Sabha in 1962 and was the Minister for Steel and Mines. Subsequently, he served as the Minister for Food and Agriculture. He also worked as the Deputy Chairman of the Planning Commission from 2 May 1971 to 22 July 1972. <laughs> Green Revolution Along with M. S. Swaminathan and B. Sivaraman, Sebramaniam was the architect of India's modern agricultural development policy, after the success of his programme which led to a record production of wheat in 1972 termed as the Indian Green Revolution. As Minister for Food and Agriculture, he introduced high-yielding varieties of seeds and more intensive application of fertilisers which paved the way for increased output of cereals and attainment of self-sufficiency in food grains in the country. About his contribution, Dr. Norman E. Borlaug, writes, The vision and influence of Mr. Sebramaniam in bringing about agricultural change and in the very necessary political decisions needed to make the new approach effective, should never be underemphasized. The groundwork for this advance in the production of wheat was solidly laid during that period 1964-67 when Mr. Sebramaniam was the guiding political force instituting change, he appointed M. S. Swaminathan, who played a major role in Green Revolution and Verghese Kurian as the chairman of National Dairy Development Board when he ushered the Indian White Revolution. Kurian says, that the key role played by Sebramaniam in the whole thing Operation Flood is hardly mentioned. He founded the National Agro Foundation, Chennai and Bharathidasan Institute of Management, Tirakirapali. <inaudible> <inaudible> Finance Ministry and Emergency When the Indian National Congress split in 1969, he became the interim president of Congress I, started by Indira Gandhi. Later, he was appointed as Minister of Finance in the Union Cabinet by Indira Gandhi. He advised her to devalue Indian rupee and was the Finance Minister during the emergency in 1976. After the emergency, he parted ways with Indira and joined the breakaway Congress faction led by Devraj Ors and Kasu Brahmananda Reddy. <laughs> Later years. He was appointed as the Union Minister of Defence by Sharan Singh in 1979. He became the Governor of Maharashtra in 1990. 
He resigned after his criticism of the style of functioning of the then Indian Prime Minister P. V. Narasimha Rao. Awards Bharat Ratna, India's Highest Civilian Honour, 1998. Y. B. Chavan National Integration Award Youth Ant Peace Award, 1996 Norman Borlaug Award, 1996 Anuvrat Award, 1988 Publications The New Strategy in Indian Agriculture Some Countries Which I Visited Round the World The India of My Dreams Legacy A commemorative coin in his honour, was released by the Government of India in August 2010. A commemorative postage stamp was also released in his honour in 2010.